Hi Cancer, it's me G1 Rider with G1 Insights. I am going to do your life and love overall energy for the month of April 2019. Please review Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces partial video that I did previously to this one, okay? Please go and review that video first before watching this so that way you can have a bit more clarity, okay? This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising okay or even venus and cancer cancer you are being bombarded this season okay by a lot of thought stimulation so that is what's basically going on with you okay look at this and say i can focus specifically upon what i want that is what the universe wants you to know my love you are being bombarded by thought stimulation and so unless you give your attention to what you specifically want you can be influenced by that which surrounds you. So pay attention to those negative energies, my love. Unless you are focusing on what is important to you, you can be stimulated by other people's thoughts, um, which may or may not be important to you. So be very wary of that. Be very cautious. You know, pay attention to the naysayers, people that say negative, harsh words to you harsh environments and it's interesting because you also got goddess um tara the white tara actually so and this is all about your sensitivity this season being increased okay so basically a lot of you will or you may find that yourself feeling a bit discouraged okay by having your wishes denied Perhaps you're just a bit disappointed with delays involved. I mean, again, so it may make you feel a bit sad, a bit uncomfortable for a while, right? It may make you feel like, even right now, I had to actually redo your video just because my energy was off. And, I, and it's not, I know it's not my actual energy because I'm doing a reading for cancer. So whatever that energy is, I just felt... A lot of um, distraction okay so be very very aware of your conscience this season okay and so your overall energy may actually just require a radical shift in how you are approaching your goals maybe you need to prioritize a bit more plan things in advance save up some additional funds okay but this can also indicate um a time of restriction or an end to something okay um let me look at your other cards here because again you did get the sensitivity card and i know that for fact that this is definitely all about sensitivity okay but you may indicate this could indicate a cycle of restriction or um a period of lack or loss okay don't let this discourage you cancer use this time to go deeper again a lot of you may have done something during mercury retrograde um like maybe you had spent something too lavishly um invested in something that was really too expensive or uh, maybe had went somewhere that you weren't supposed to or something whatever it is that you did is kind of i feel like you're receiving some of that energy back now that mercury has gone direct um, a lot of that backlash is coming back or it could be something that you were waiting for is now making you feel like, dang, I should have never did that, right? Like it's giving you that, that feeling because whatever is happening now or will be happening um, going into that second week of April is like a, a feeling of like, I want to say regret, but that's, yeah, let me just say that. I feel like it's just a feeling of regret because I feel very... Um, scattered and I feel like that is what your energy is doing right now is very scattered okay but again this is still a lesson to be learned okay or an entirely new direction to take so be open and flexible and aware remember there are many roads to happiness the universe is abundant my love the universe is abundant and that is why you got this abundant I, like I said I'd like to call this the abundance car because that is what it reminds me of it's full of abundance and love and light right so, but it came out in reverse for you. And so that means that you have to now recuperate. <laughs> okay, if I can find a good word for it. Uh, this is the time for you to now recuperate, to get back to your roots, you know, to reestablish something that was once lost. But the universe is so, so abundant, okay? And all that you desire will come to you in just the right time, in the right way.
So you have to remember, dear love, that you are blessed, okay? Again, I do see a lot of transformation here as well. Now, the universe also is saying that you may need to, again, try to get away from all these different energies that's kind of weighing you down and making you feel really tired, making you feel really exhausted, making you feel really stressed out. Um, it could be the environment. It could be... Um, a group of people that you hang around or it could be an environment at work maybe that, that environment at work is really stressful it could be um maybe a lot of you are empathic and i feel like the more you are in tune with your emotions this season and the more that you are aware of your emotions and how you used to approach situations this is going to be the season where you can no longer approach a particular situation or an environment um, the same way, okay? God, your energy is so scattered this season. Ooh. It's interesting, though, because when I did the Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces reading, I didn't feel like your energy was too heavy. And even now, I don't feel like it's heavy. I feel like it's more of a, a is distracting. Like, your energy is... There's something around you that is causing a lot of distraction. And I feel like if it's not distraction, then it's something that you are upset about. Something that where um, you wanted to really have this particular thing or this particular person or you wanted this um, environment or this new home. It's something, Dylan, that's something that you really care about, something that you really desired. And either it's not saying that you can't have it. It's just saying that it's currently out of reach or um, something... Um, hmm, I'm going to have to shuffle some more cards to get clarity on this because, again, it's like you are becoming increasingly sensitive. So it's telling me in more than one card here, okay, to uh, that you need to avoid relationships, harsh relationships or environments and situations and chemicals, my love. So pay attention to the things that you are putting in your body, places that you visit. Okay, make sure that you are um, maybe wiping off the keyboards or um, taking extra care about yourself. I don't know. I just feel like it's it's a energy that is attached to you this season that is causing a lot of like it's bothering your energy, and you don't even realize that that is the thing that is causing your energy to be like really scattered. But I feel very, very scattered doing your, your reading today. It's interesting because I was going to do your reading prior to doing Pisces. And for some reason, the universe was like, nope, not yet. I had to wait. Okay. So I also got Goddess Cordella here. So she is basically saying, listen, go get some fresh air. All of that stress you're feeling is because you are attached to all these different things that is causing you stress. Um, causing you a distraction every time you're trying to focus on something positive and do the right thing here's this negative energy still hanging around you and again for a lot of you this could be a spouse this could be the environment it could be um it could be your uh, maybe a place at work your environment at work this could also be even in a home maybe you need to kind of clean up a little bit change the furniture maybe out with the old and with the new type of energy okay but goddess Cadella is saying listen go outside get some fresh air because apparently you you've been around this energy for too long you know you i feel like you need to just kind of just just cease from these people for a little while or this environment like just get out of it okay or a lot of you may be feeling like you need to just get away, right? Like, maybe you are feeling like, you know what? I need a break. I need to go. I need to get away. I need something new, something exciting, all right? So I do feel like your energy is very scattered. But I feel, again, going in towards that ending of that second week, going into that third week, okay, transformation has rise, okay? And if I'm not mistaken, I also believe that Pisces got this too, if I'm not mistaken. So this is energy, um, interesting energy. Ooh, okay. Please double check Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer's partial video, okay? It was three signs in one video. Please review that, okay? Or if you have Pisces in your birth chart as a sun, moon, rising, or a Venus in Pisces, or Venus in Cancer, and maybe you are Pisces, um, I would review their video as well just because the energy was very similar in the aspect of feelings, feeling emotional, feeling um, like 
you are seeking some type of change, okay? But I do see that you are experiencing some type of enormous change. So whether this is physically, maybe you are realizing that you are an empath. Maybe you are realizing that you are more prone to and maybe more sensitive to other people's feelings. And this is not for all of you. You know, for some of you, I feel like you have already had this energy for the past few months. And now your energy is clearing out. So for a lot of you, you know, this is some type of change happening. For a lot of you, the change has already begun. And maybe now you're learning to adapt to this whole new wave of energy, okay? So this is cool. Let me dig a little deeper and um, do, let me shuffle some more cards for you. Because I feel like something is your energy is very different this season so this is interesting really really interesting for the, especially compared i think to january oh look at that <laughs> wow one second look at that look at that look at that wow Woo. Mm. all right so i already saw what kind of cards it was so i'm just gonna shuffle just to be sure please show me cancer sun moon and rising or venus and cancer Calling all goddess and gods, all our spirits and gods. Calling all of our archangels. Thank you, universe. Calling all of our archangels and guardian angels. Thank you for advice. Thank you for showing us what we need to know. Wow. All right. All right. Oh, so it's a love situation. Okay. Okay. There it is. That indecision. Yes. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Both of these came out in reverse. <sighs> Okay, and decision, let me show you what that looked like up top. Trying to decide which road to go. My love, you are already on the path of where you need to be. You are already on the right path. That is what the abundant card was all about, but it came out in reverse. So please do not feel like it's not going to work out because you are currently experiencing. Okay, sorry, I keep hearing these weird noises. Okay. So, okay, so the two paths in front of you are, if, I don't know if you guys can really see that too much, but I don't know, the lighting is horrible. Okay, so it says unknown and unknown. There are two paths in front of you, and you're like, okay, I need to make a decision. I don't know what I want to do, but I know that I need to get the hell out of here. Some of you are trying to make some type of decision, whether you want to stay or go, okay? Or if you want to continue on this journey or not. So, yes, there is definitely some type of transformation on the horizon. Listen, if it's that hard for you to make a decision, make no decision at all, okay? Or perhaps go with your first instinct. Don't double, <laughs> like, question yourself, okay? Whatever you, whatever that gut feeling is, if something is telling you to just choose that one, then choose that one. If your spirit is saying, no, not that one, nah, because this, don't, but you also have to be aware of negative thoughts because, again, you are surrounded by some naysayers and some people that can be really negative and people that don't really want you to have, so... You have to be very, um, and I will not say allow your heart to choose because, again, your heart can be deceitful at times. So um, allow your spirit to guide you, okay? Because, again, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. So you are trying to make some decision about someone or something. I don't know exactly what it is. Let me, hmm. Look at this. I want you guys to look at this. I want to know, like, please drop in the comments. Let me know what this is making you feel like. Okay? Let me know what this is making you feel like. For a lot of you, this is someone you're dating. For a lot of you, this is someone new. But it came out in reverse. So I'm not sure this is like a separation of some kind or a decision to like maybe break up with someone. But this is definitely some type of uh, mm, disconnect or discontentment with this person. Or this could even be, this is masculine energy, but this is masculine energy that is sensitive, okay? This can represent you, maybe that, that distraction that I was talking about. There's some type of shutdown, like some type of shutdown regarding your emotional feelings. I mean, your emotional life or... Your emotions toward money or your feelings about this particular decision you just recently made. And maybe you're having a hard time 
making a decision. I don't know. I just feel like you you are shutting down. You're you're a crab, right? So you are going back into your shell. I just feel a lot of you retreating or going back to. So in the Scorpio Pisces Cancer partial video, I talked to you all about someone trying to come back into your life. Like I didn't really feel like you guys were going going to be going through so much. But I did feel like something was trying to re-enter your life. And I don't know, maybe that's the scattered energy I'm feeling. Because again, this did come out in reverse. So it's really kind of confirming my feelings at this point. Okay? I don't know if this person is trying to make his way back to you or back into your life. And it for a lot of you, this could be a man or a woman. But they have a lot of masculine, sensitive qualities about themselves. And so... And this could be somebody saying, hey, I miss you. You know, I've been thinking about you. Um, I think that we should work it out. And maybe you're kind of confused on which route you should take. Okay, if you also have Capricorn in your birth chart anywhere, please review their video as well. Because it was also very similar. Okay. But this is definitely um, a time to open up and know that you can handle deep emotions and energy. So again, you are... Um, becoming since even well, your sensitivity is increasing, okay. So, this is definitely a time, um, where you need to know that you can handle deep emotions and energy that they bring up. So, no matter what happens, no matter what this person say, I feel like you are stronger now to put them in their place. Like, you have the the and you have the the will, you have the strength. To tell them no, no thank you, I'm good. For a lot of you, I feel like this person brings a lot of deep emotions out of you. Like they stir up a lot of deep emotions in you. Um, so it's like, I feel like you did really love this person. But their energy at times could have been so toxic towards you. And I, maybe that is what I felt all along. Like, yeah, that indecision, that distraction, that feeling of... No, why do I want to go back to you when, I mean, you you took all this away from me. And I'm just getting myself back. I'm just getting myself back. No, I don't want to go back to this place of, you know, feeling discontent, discombobulated, feeling really with low self-esteem, feeling like I don't mean anything, feeling like you don't care about my feelings. I don't want to go back to that, right? So I feel like that is what this is all about for a lot of you, actually. Whether it's anger, grief, or utter bliss, you can be comfortable in their experiences and in their expression. This man holding his heart reversed can also indicate a difficult uh, connection and relationship. And again, it could be with a man or a woman. It doesn't even matter, okay? It could be with a man or a woman. Or it could also be with a man who may be easy to anger, easy to anger, deceitful, okay? Someone who's deceitful. Someone who is quick to criticize you. Okay, this behavior could be attributed to fear and self-doubt. And yet this person would never admit it. They would never admit how much they hurt you. They would never admit that they got issues, that they need help. Okay, so again, you need a relationship that is well-deserving of you. Okay, you need someone who is well-deserving of you. Someone who really cares. And so why, why are you taking so long to make this decision? There is a transformation on the horizon. Again, you don't want to go back to that place of discontentment or that place of the unknown where you never know what you're going to get with this person. You never know they're going to love you, they're going to surprise you, they're going to be happy, or they're going to just wake up fucking depressed every day. Like, and it's your choice. It's totally your choice, Cancer, whether you choose to go back to that person or not. But this person's energy is really, really heavy. I'm telling you, I felt the distraction. I felt the discontentment. And the, the I just feel like you are pissed off. You're like, look, I need to get out of here. I got to think about these things because I got to think about my kids. I got to think about my housing. I got to think about my life. You know, I was totally happy without you. And now, so yes, your energy was dead on. When I did that Scorpio Pisces and Cancer's partial video, please review that. You will see what I mean. I literally said that. Somebody is trying to work their way back into your life. Or perhaps this could even possibly be you. And maybe this is how they're feeling about you. Okay, so you may want to kind of check yourself. Get some things together. This is you. Get yourself together first. And then approach that person. I will tell you, April 10th, um, Jupiter will go retrograde. 
Going into that third week, we will have a, two other retrogrades. Saturn is going to go retrograde in Capricorn. Pluto is going to go retrograde in Capricorn. So be on the lookout for some serious, serious business and putting these this person or these certain people in their place or letting them know exactly how you feel. Cancer, please let me know what you think of this reading. Drop some comments below. I love you, but I really have to get going, okay? But your energy was very, very tense this season. And I felt it in that partial video. So please review it. Share this message around the world because every cancer needs to know what's going on hit that subscribe button to keep up with all my latest videos and notifications about different things that i'll be doing this season okay love you